one of the best audience that you can use right now when running your Facebook ads or your Instagram ads is the custom audience. This audience is great because number one, it is very cheap to run ads using the custom audience. And also the custom audience are your audience that already know you, like you and trust you. Now in this video, I'm gonna be showing you exactly how you can create these custom audience in Facebook ads. I'm gonna show you step by step all you need to know about creating the custom audience using Facebook ads. So welcome if you're just joining us and welcome if you are a returning subscriber. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Now let's get straight into this video. This video is going to be showing you exactly how to use the custom audience. Now a lot of people have heard about the custom audience. They've heard how great the custom audience is but most people don't know exactly how you can create this custom audience. Now I'm gonna be breaking this down because there are different types of custom audiences that you can create one of the things you need to understand first is that the custom audience depends on data so it depends on your existing data like your followers the uh, people who have watched your videos whatever existing data that you have either on your facebook page or on your instagram page or on your ads manager or about your business generally right the custom audience largely depends on data so if you don't have enough data it might not work for you but if you have enough data and you've been running ads for a long period or you have a good number of followers on your page say anything between 1000 and above then you should be able to create the custom audience also let me state that if you have bought followers one time or the other with your instagram page or your facebook page this custom audience might not give you the right result because the followers you bought they might not be your ideal followers and this custom audience depends on the right type of data so i need you to know this before we jump into creating the custom audience now let us go straight into creating the custom audience now the custom audience like i said is going to be created right on the ads manager right so what we need to do is to go to the ads manager right when you get to the ads manager you can come down here where it says all tools right and then you can go to audiences right so now that we are right here where it says audiences now the first type of custom audience we're going to create is the custom audience based on our instagram followers so let's click on create audience and then we create custom audience okay so once we click on the custom audience now we are met here with different options remember that i said that your custom audience is created based on a source or a data that you already have that is existing now you can see all the sources here there's website customer list app activity offline activity catalog there's video there's you know lead form instagram account i mean a lot of different sources here right now what are the sources we're going to start with let's start with the instagram account source right instagram account source so we click on instagram account and then we click next now this instagram account source that we're going to be doing first what it means basically is that we are creating an audience out of people who have taken different actions on our instagram page these actions could be they follow our page they've liked our post they've saved our post they've commented on our post or whether they've done everything that i've just mentioned so that is what we want to do now first thing you're going to do here is to click on the source and then you choose your instagram account now i have multiple accounts here so i'm going to just do this for my own account which is bizlift now you see it here now under the event the events mean that what exactly are you trying to capture with this source right on your instagram account what are you trying to capture is it people who follow you people who like your page saved your post or is it everything together so let's see the different events we have here now the first or the default ev event we have here is everyone who engaged with this professional account so basically that means whether they um whether they took an action on, on a post which is like comment save carousel swap button taps or shares then we'll capture these people right now the other one we have here is the first one we have here says this includes people who started following your instagram account so this is only for people who are following your account so if, the, if they're not following your account they will not i mean they will not see this particular advert or they will not be captured in this audience so that is very important for you to note now anyone who visited this professional account so basically this is just anyone who has visited my profile before now this will be very vital for people who do not have a lot of followers now remember that if you go on your instagram page you will see something that says account reached so meaning that is the number of people that your account has reached or it's called profile visits right it could be profile visits, it could be account reached. Now, this account reached, you will realize that if you check it on your account, it is usually larger than the number of followers you have, right? As you're, as you're watching this, I'll be showing you my own account. You will see that on my own Instagram account, my account reach is over 100,000, but I have about 
at the time of this video, I had about 46k followers thereabouts. So, but my account reach is over 100,000. So that means that the people who are seeing my account are over 100,000 people. So that means that if I choose this third one here, it would capture everybody that has visited my account, regardless of what they have done, whether they've liked, whether they've, it doesn't matter, but they will be captured because they have visited my profile. So that is always good for people who have less than 1,000 followers. It is always good for you if you have less than 1,000 followers or 1,000 followers and below, okay? So this is the third one. Now, the, the other one here says um, account centers who engage with any post or any ad. So this basically is for post or ad. So whether they commented, like your post or carousel swipes on your ad, whatever it is, post an ad. So that is for that one. Now, people who sent a message. Now, this one is for people who have sent you a message right so this particular one is for people so if you do for example you do a messaging ad goal and then you you get a, a lot of people say you have you've you've done a campaign for like five months a messaging campaign and a lot of messages have been generated you can actually do a retargeting advert to run ads to the people who actually sent you a message or say in a in a period of time you got a number of messages you can run retargeting ads to target these people that have sent you a message over a lot of i mean over a period of time so this is usually very very effective if you um get a lot of messages now the last one here is people who saved any post or ad now this is also very vital even though you might not have a lot of people that do this but if you check on your post like some sometimes a lot of people save your post they save your ad they you know but they do not buy immediately from you so what you can do is that you can create an audience out of your post savers now this your post savers or your ad savers you will now be able to retarget them with an ad this is very very effective if you get a lot of people to save your post say you do post and maybe you do pre-orders and people really save your post a lot then this could be a vital strategy for you to use to retarget the people that save your post or your ad okay so which one would i be doing here now i'm going to be doing the one that captures everybody regardless of whatever it is that they've done on my account so that could be the second one that is here or the third one right so i'm going to choose for now i'm going to choose the third one here people who visited my account profile regardless of what they did now the retention date or the retention time is supposed to be 365 days now 365 days meaning that it will capture people that have taken this action within one year so if i want it to be lesser than one year i only just have to put in the number of days i want but you know that the larger the number of days the more it will capture so uh, please take that into consideration now once you have done this the next thing you want to do is to come down now there's an include more people here or exclude people now you don't want to do this include or exclude if i were you okay so i'm going to just skip that now i'm going to just put in the audience name just call it biz lived um Biz lift profile visitors, right? I'll just call it that, and then I'll put the description so that I can also understand what the audience is about. So you can do that if you want to, and then you click on the create audience. Once you click on the create audience, the custom audience has been created. You can see it right here. So the custom audience has been created, right? Now we just close this, just or click done. Now we have the custom audience done. The next thing we're going to do is create another type of custom audience. Let me show you that type. Now, the same thing we have done for this Instagram account, we can choose to do that same thing for our Facebook page, right? For people who have a lot of um, likes on their Facebook page, you have a lot of people following your Facebook page, you can also do the same thing. It follows through the same process. So you can follow that as well. Now, the next one I'm going to be showing you is video. Now, a lot of you post a lot of videos. If you're like, um, if you're like someone like me that posts a lot of video, then you get a lot of people who watch your videos. And this is really amazing for you. If you post a lot of videos or you run ads on your videos, you run a lot of ads on your videos, which is the video views advert, right? If you run a lot of that type of ad or you post organically a lot of videos, you need to create this type of custom audience using your videos. Let me show you exactly what you need to do. Now, first thing you need to do is to click on video and then you click on next. Now, once you do this, it will take you to this page. Now, you see this page here, it says, choose a content type. Now, what I will most likely do is to choose people who have watched 50% of my video. Now, I believe that if you've watched 50% of my video, that means you have a level of interest in what I do, right? So I'm gonna choose people who have watched my videos for at least 50%, uh, okay? So I'm gonna choose that 50%. Then you see this blue um, 
text here that says choose videos we're going to click on it to choose our videos so once again i'm going to go here where it says video sources i'll change you to my instagram profile and then i come to the Inst instagram professional account here and then i choose my instagram account okay so now in the recent times i've been posting a lot of videos and then some of my videos have gone viral so i'm going to choose those videos now you can see here this particular video has 2000 views so i'm going to just select the videos i want now i'm going to select the ones with high number of views okay so i'm going to just be looking for so page one here page two here look for the videos that have a high number of views say 2000 and above so uh page three okay let's go to page three this one has four thousand this one has six thousand now these are all organic video views from my own page so uh this one has four thousand three thousand three thousand okay let's go again to page five um six thousand two thousand two thousand here a whooping thirty two thousand here that's amazing okay um so i have another one here three thousand um let's move to another one i have another three thousand five thousand so i'm going to just keep selecting them like that i can keep selecting videos until i am like out of videos so you can do this now this is a whooping 102,000 views this is these are all organic views right these are all organic views this one is 2000 again so let's say I've, I've selected quite enough right here now you can keep going as much as you want to but let's say i've selected enough i'll just click on confirm here and then all i do is of course the retention date again is 365 and then i'm going to name this one say bizlift video uh viewers right so bizlift video viewers so let's put that there video viewers and then click on create audience then immediately i've created my custom audience again i'll click on done right so i've created my custom audience like that very simple now the next one i'm going to show you again click on custom audience now the next one i'm going to show you again is how you can create a custom audience out of your website let's start with website now website basically for a lot of you who have website visitors you get it you run a lot of traffic ads you get people who you know come to your website a lot you can actually retarget these people so when you see people say oh i want to do a retargeting advert so basically what you want to do here is to capture people who have taken action on your website and this is possible because you must have pixels installed on your website if you don't know how to install pixels i'm going to do a video sometimes maybe next month about how to install pixels in 2024 i'm going to show you that video if you don't know how to but if you already know how to and you already have your pixels let's create your custom audience with your pixels so click on website and then we click next all right so what this does is that i have a pixel here already which is my pixel you can see right here and then i have two pixels but i use this pixel now i'm going to select all website visitors i don't want because if you have not if you don't have a lot of data or a lot of i mean if you've not gathered a lot of data in the past you cannot use this uh specific web pages if i wanted to use specific web pages and then i have to just click for some events no i want all website visitors and then 30 days is this one is usually by 30 days right so i'm not sure you can do this one by 365 let's try it so you see it has, has to be 180 so let's do this for 180 and then i can come here and say um website at academy okay vc tours okay so i'm just going to click that and click create audience so that immediately will create my audience using my pixel of everyone that has visited my website so this is exactly how you will not waste money I mean it makes a lot of sense you will not waste money this way so we're done now let's create another one the final one i'm going to show you today is customer list now customer list is very simple right but it's very tricky in a way but let me show you exactly what it means now let me explain first if you're going to be creating your custom audience from your customer list what this means is that you're creating a custom audience out of people who have submitted their email to you or their phone numbers that is a customer list phone number you have a phone number list or you have an email list you can use this to create a custom audience so if you have a page where or you have a um some sort of lead magnet that generates a lot of email lists for you you can actually upload that email list right here on the ads manager and you can target all these people so you think of brands like mtn think of all these big brands right how they are able to target us they're, e they're either using their 
I mean, their phone numbers, which you, they have already, they have access to a lot of your phone numbers. So that way, you wonder how you go on Instagram, you see adverts from all these big brands. Because they usually have your phone numbers, and then they upload this as a customer list, and then they can target you. So let's see exactly how this is created. So what you need to do is to click on customer list, and then click on next, right? Now, this customer list basically has a template that it follows. So what you can do is that you can either import your customer list directly from your MailChimp. Meta is in a way connected to MailChimp, so you can import your um, email list directly from MailChimp if you have MailChimp or you're using MailChimp. But if you're not, then you can just download their file template or basically what you can do is to compile or export your email list from whichever platform that you're using it, export it as a CSV or a text format document. Once you export it, then all you have to do is to click next, right? And then you upload it here. Click on upload file, right? Then I'm going to just look for a CSV document here. Let me see if I have one here. So let's say I have this cloud booster. This is like a, a CSV document. So all I have to do is to... Um, use this csv document then i'm just going to click on next so what it's going to do basically is that it's going to add all this email you can see all this email list from the from the csv document it's going to import and create this audience all for me now for this to work well for you you would need to ensure that you have a large database of emails or phone numbers for this to work well for you so i would appeal that you have anything above five thousand they're about emails for this to really, really work for you. Now, don't go about buying emails and thinking it will work. No, these emails have to be generated by you and they have to be people who are your target audience for it to really work for you, okay? So once you're done with this, all you have to do is to click import and create and that should create, and so it will upload the email list and then it will confirm and this will take a while, but it would complete the process. So these are all the custom audiences that you can create currently using the Facebook Ads Manager. I hope you've learned a lot from this video if you have learned a lot from this video and you know this video is valuable please subscribe to my youtube channel and also help me like this and also share this so that it can get to a lot of people so that they can see it. thank you so much for watching this video thank you so much for following me thank you so much for subscribing i really appreciate each and every one of you thank you so much i'll see you in the next video